Hey y'all, it's Linda. For today's video, I am going to be doing the Husband Picks My Makeup Challenge. This, this is, this is an interesting one. I have wanted to do this forever and my husband is a very good sport. He agreed to pick out some makeup for me. And here's the thing, I have been on YouTube for over 10 years at this point and obsessed with makeup and obsessed with cosmetics for way longer than that. So this man knows more about makeup than he rightfully should. But nonetheless, I was really curious to see what he would pick. I gave him full reign of my entire collection. I was like, look, you can do a beautiful look in your mind. You can create this gorgeous look for me, you know, with all these products that you pick, or you can troll me fully. I give you full permission. And knowing that jerk, I was fully expecting to have like, you know, all the colors of the entire rainbow or just like gray, gray lips, gray eye, no, okay. And I was not sure what to expect, but we walked through my entire collection together and I told him each category that I needed to have picked. And one by one, he went through and he picked out some stuff. So here is the footage of that. <laughs> All right, so we're about to pick, and what I'm going to do, he's not gonna be on camera, I will film his hands, but he doesn't want his face on camera, which I respect. I am going to point to kind of like each section of makeup, hands, hands. I'm gonna to point to each section, and he's gonna pick one thing each, and we are going to put them in this lush bag. So this will be the makeup that I'm going to use tomorrow, not tonight, because I'm real tired. Okay, so the reason we decided to do it this way is because I don't know her makeup organizational system. Okay, so you wanna know where we're gonna start? We're gonna start with? Face primer, okay? So I will give you your choices that you can choose from. There's not many. Okay, I'm not gonna put the one I know. Now we're gonna pick a foundation, which is all this right in here. Okay, now this is kind of fun, because do I go for what I think artistically works well, or am I just purposely trying to sabotage? You may sabotage if you choose to sabotage. Stay naked. We're gonna pick, we'll, we'll wait, I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna pick a concealer, you ready? I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna line up, there's not many, four concealers to choose from. Okay. Do you want to pick highlighter now or do you want to wait on highlighter? Because we have a lot of highlighter. This is all highlighter. Do you want to see what that looks like inside? I can open it for you since you're on one handed. Yeah, it says Space Age, so I'm immediately interested. These are all Space Age, I believe. So space. This one is Prophecy, though. Prophecy. I'm also colorblind, so uh, fun tip. Is that like blue? It has some like pink, green, white to it. I'll do highlighter last because I think I need to look at eyes and you stuff You want to look at eyes first, okay. The eyes, nipple the face. So here's the problem. And this, we're going to be doing a declutter and organization soon, guys. I have two drawers. This one looks fairly organized. Okay. The one below it does not. And these are all just eyeshadows? These are all eyeshadow palettes. Here's the thing. Okay. I can tell you, you can pick two eyeshadow palettes. Okay. Do you want me to give you time to look through this? Um, How do you want to do this? No, but here you hold. Okay, I will hold. Is I'm it just these two drawers. These two drawers. These are the palettes. Now I keep all my shit in boxes, unfortunately. So sometimes the back of them will show you, but a lot of times it doesn't. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can put ones aside if you're interested. While you're continuing to look, Haggis is going to assist. Piper, you assist. Is there any kind of like weird like organizational thing as far as like you use these ones up top? More no, than... no, it's literally just organized kind of by size. Mm. Messy. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, but you gotta. You gotta. You gotta put them right side up at least. That's that's for the quality. That's not just me being anal. You can take stuff out and stack it places if you need. Are you just going based on name? What's your uh, what's your uh, method of madness here? Can you remember, I know more about makeup than I rightfully should. <laughs> <laughs> so I vaguely know what stuff is. Okay. 
So without even going to the second drawer, I'm going to say these two. These two palettes. Okay, so we, ooh, we are going for the shroud. It's freaking bats and melt smoke sessions. Okay. So in this drawer, oh, oh, that's where one palette fell, I guess. Guys, I really need to redo. Okay, you know what? Let's stand out. Okay, uh, this is going to be more difficult for you. You let me know if it's something. You, well, first of all, you can pick one of these if you would like. You don't have to. These are gel liners. Mascara. We need to pick a. We need to pick a curler. And a mascara from here. That's not a mascara. That's an eyeshadow pen. Or yeah. You lied to me. I know I did. So this is a mascara. What is that? What brand? Oh, Merit. That's Merit. Do I only have three mascaras left? Oh, guys, I guess I only have three mascaras. You fail. Which one that gives you like the weird spidery stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Thrive Cosmetics. Cool. Oh. Pencils. Maybe eyebrows is something. Because eyebrows is weird. Just a black eyebrow? No, no black eyebrows. Absolutely oh. not. So we've got lamination gel. We've got brow glue. We've got brow wax. We have, these are all different eyebrow products. I know so the it's waxes. not like. So do the wax. Do the wax? Yeah. So we're gonna do the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. These are lip liners, you said? No, those are um, gel eyeliners. So, oh, okay. But, but let's you don't, come back. Not necessarily needed. Just we don't need it. But let me show you something else first, and you can choose between that, this, and that. And we'll also come back to eyeliner if you want to choose any of those. But we also have a bunch of liquid shadows that we can use as a base for any eyeshadows. If you like any of those, I know this is a lot, but. The new black one? That's the new black one. Yeah. Wanna yeah. try that? Yeah, I'm kind of going for a smoky. I think any here. kind of glitter, or do you want to stay away from glitter? No. No glitter? Who needs glitter? You can die in a fire. As far as eyeliner, we can do a gel liner, we can do a pencil liner. There's a ton. These are the cool multi chrome liners. We've uh, got black liquid liner. And it's liner like eyeliner? Yes. What are the colors of the liquid chrome that you have here? The, uh, these, um, kind of how they look. So, oh, well, you're colorblind. <laughs> and, I'm sorry, purple and green. Purple and green? Okay. Okay. Well, do you want eyelashes? Uh, or, or jewels or anything? Is it hard to choose lashes? I don't know. I'm not good at this game because I don't wear lashes much. Oh, then you have to wear that. You already have uh, mascara, so. I, well, I do, yes. Okay, first thing you want to pick is, do you want to pick a lip liner first or a lipstick first? I'm going to have you pick out a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. Oh, you're going, you're, you're doing it like that. Is that bad? I mean, considering the colors of eyeshadow you picked out, this is going to be a bold as fuck look. We also have some in here, if you're looking at red. Yeah, what's red? And we've got this one, which is also red. We've got these that are reds. What's that? Kat Von D. Old, old. What's that one called? It was called Underage Red. I don't know what it's called now. We're doing Underage Red? Okay. Do you want gloss with it? No. Okay, no gloss. Okay, let's move over here. Oh, wait, wait, we need highlighter first. Oh, you said highlighter, that's right. Uh, what was the one I had that was like spacey? This space is, well, age. they're all spacey. They're all called space age highlighters. Well, that one had that cool like silvery. Yep, that gold. one had, that one had, well, that was a different one. That was the pink one that you looked at. This is a different one. This one is more like pink toned. That you see it's purpley? Bit. I see. That one had green uh, tinge to it. This has. The prophecy. The prophecy. Do you want prophecy or gifted? The prophecy. The prophecy. Okay, we're on to the prophecy. Da, da, da. Down. Down. Psst. Down. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, buddy. A blush. You want to see what that looks like? Yeah. Okay. Looks like that. And you stamp it with a little heart. Uh, no. Open that one. This is Cali Dream by Melt. No? No. Okay. You have two Cali Dreams. I do. That one is powder. This this one is cream. That one in your hand is powder. It's the same color except in a powder formula. No, that's the honey one, so it's different. Oh, but same thing, no. The, do the, that one. The... You want the powder formula of Honey Thief? Yes. Okay. And we are going to go, there's only a little bit more. So you have two very big choices. Not very big choices. For powder, we're going to go either option A, Kosas, option B, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, that one. Charlotte? 
bronzer. We have one, two, three. We've got these six. So you want this one? This one is. Sure. Okay, so we're going Kosas. Is that it? That is it. So uh, as you can see, this is this is gonna be interesting. A few weeks ago, I did a video where I had very bright eyes, like intense eyes and a red lip. And I was like, wow, this is this is a whole lot. And uh, yeah, it looks like again, we're gonna be doing intense eyes with a red lip. I do not know how this is gonna go, but right now all I have on is my skincare and that has been soaking in for quite a while. So we're gonna do the rest. We're gonna, we're gonna do the rest. It's all right here. Uh, in the Lush bag, even though there's not a single Lush product in here. Okay, I'm gonna spread this out in front of me so I can really capture the horror of what we're about to do. Now, individually, I really do enjoy all these products that he picked. It's just that all together, all together. Now, I will say there's one product that I did not ask him to pick that I am gonna be using today, and that is the NYX Glitter Primer. Uh, other than that, everything used is going to be what he picks. So let's go ahead and start off with the face primer. He chose the NYX Marshmallow Primer, which is interesting because this is one that I feel like I like whenever I use it, but I always kind of forget to use it for some reason, and I don't know why. This primer always does feel super hydrating, which is nice and something I definitely enjoy. I feel like I should do foundation last because this is gonna be an intense eye look, but I don't know why I always prefer to do foundation first. What is the order that you always go in by default? He chose the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation, which is one that I enjoy, but I don't use as often as maybe I should. So color is still a good match for me, I believe. I'm just gonna take this and dot this all around the face. I don't know that I've ever used this foundation with the NYX primer, so that'll be interesting. Okay, that is quite a lot of foundation for me. Blending that in with my BK Beauty 106. I guess this foundation is a little lighter for my skin tone than I thought it was, but I'm gonna go ahead and layer just a tiny bit more on the cheeks. It's funny because I go through these phases where I use certain tools obsessively. I haven't used a beauty blender in a minute, which is strange for me because I used to only really use beauty blenders and beauty sponges and not brushes, but I feel like the uh, BK Beauty 106 kind of changed that for foundation for me. I love this for applying foundation. All right, this coverage is looking nice. This is, you can still see kind of a glow coming through here. It's not an overly glowy foundation, but I do feel like this is definitely not matte. Not bad so far. For concealer, he did pick the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, or concealer rather, and if you know, you know this is long discontinued, okay? This tube itself is not completely old because before it was discontinued, I did buy a bunch of them, but I love this concealer so much. Guys, I am so sorry if the microphone was being weird up until now. I will try to fix that audio. I did just fix it now, but I am so sorry if it was messed up. We are gonna continue. So with this concealer, I really only put it in the areas where I really need it. I just love this concealer so freaking much. I feel like it does such a good job of hydrating my under eyes and it doesn't look cakey. I'm so sad I can't get this one anymore, but let's move on to powder. So I only have two powders, so not a huge selection to choose from, but he chose the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm going in with, I know it's dirty, stop judging me, my Beauty Blender Poof, and I'm going to take this and just press this under my eyes to set that. I'm also going to press this in some areas where I know that my foundation likes to move around, but I don't use a lot of powder. So I'm only using this again, right in those areas. That's, that's it. That's all the powder I'm using. That's all she wrote. All right, continuing with the face, he chose a very interesting bronzer. He chose the Kosas bronzer. Now, the last time that I used this in a video, I had to actually like scrape some of it to get some pigment. So to be honest, I'm gonna do that again where I just gently scrape the top and I'm gonna take my bronzer brush. There we go, I actually got some pigment. <laughs> just gonna bronze this up. 
I will admit I don't exactly like having to scrape the product to get any pigment up, but the result is really pretty. All right, before we fully go into the eyeshadow, I'm going to do my eyebrows, and he selected the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. This is something I do wet with a setting spray. What's very interesting about this challenge in general is that he picked some products here that are not the first things I go to, but they've survived declutters, which means I still enjoy them, right? So, like, I don't know. It's, it's almost like it's forcing me to use products that I haven't used in a long time, and it's kind of like, why haven't I used them? So, I don't know. It's kind of a good exercise. I'm going to let my brows sit for a minute and dry a little bit so they become a little more tacky, but oh gosh, let's get these palettes ready. So on their own, I adore both of these palettes. So first he picked the uh, Batty Bean and Shroud It's Freaking Bats. I love this color story. This is completely unique to my collection, this color story. We've got these deep, rich purples and blues and some golds and some greens, but then he also picked the Melt Smoke Sessions. I'll be honest, the idea of these two palettes together is throwing me off a little bit, but what I am seeing is over here, we've got, and I never use these actually, we've got these teals and like light blues uh, those are sparkle, but then I've got this teal here and this kind of purpley color. So what if I did a look with that? You know what? I might even skip the purpley color and I might go in with Adams, which is this dark teal. And then these two shimmers over here, which is Sweet Tooth and Blue Dream and maybe even a bit of Space Queen in the outer corner to really deepen it up. Okay, we're doing okay. We're, we're going to be okay. So first I am going in with Adams. This color definitely has a lot of kick up, so be gentle with it. Oh, so pretty. What keeps throwing me off is knowing that I have to go in with a red lip after this. This is gonna be a look. I just realized I have to take this off. I have to take this off. I was literally just in my head to praising myself because the blend was looking great. Oh, that's fantastic. So the reason I had to take that off is because I totally forgot that he also gave me the About Face Black. We're, like, we're, there's green, there's gold, there's purple, there's teal, there's black, there's red lipstick. Like, wow. I don't think he was trolling me either. Like, I think he was just kind of like, oh, these are all cool products. I just usually don't use them all at once. I am going to use this as a base. I know I could cheat and use this as a liner, but I'm going to use this as a base for the whole lid and see what happens. This eye is like the ugly stepsister today. Oh my gosh. We are looking just a little bit crazy today. All right, take two. Let's go in with this color, Adams. Oh, God. Oh, but that really looks cool over the black. And to be honest, before it was, there was definitely a lot more fallout down here, but this, even though it dries down matte, it is kind of helping it to stick a little more. And it's making the color very, like, opaque and intense. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of rad. <laughs> the black definitely adds a lot of dimension. That's really cool. And I am, yes, I am taking this up to the brow because I want to use uh, a highlighter in a bit. Wow, okay, now I do have a bit of fallout, but not too bad. I will touch up my concealer later. For the outer corner, I'm taking my Singe EO2 brush and Space Queen, which is just a really, really dark, almost like navy teal. And I'm just going to use that to really deepen up this outer edge. Okay, taking the Singe EO1 brush with my NYX Glitter Primer, and I'm going to put that all over the inner lid all the way like two thirds the way. 
First, I'm gonna start with Sweet Tooth, which is just kind of a proper teal. That's really pretty. This is gonna go on the, ooh, it's gonna go on the center of the lid, really. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> now I am gonna kind of be going back and forth with the colors a little bit. I do wanna intensify the Space Queen color, but like blend this, this shimmer. Right now it's a little bit of a harsh edge. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna take Blue Dream. I'll be honest, this might be the very first time I've ever used Blue Dream. And I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. That's pretty. Not much of a difference between the two, which is weird because in the pan, there's a very clear difference. Like this one is obviously much deeper. Interesting. You know what, I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I feel like I want a touch of darkness in the inner corner. So I'm going to actually put some Space Queen right here as well. Oh, that's cool because it's darkened up, but you can still see some shimmer coming through. That's fun. That is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to have to go back in and redo my concealer on both sides because it really is a mess. Um, I guess my famous last words are like, I should probably do my foundation last, but I don't feel like it. All right, before I go ahead and do underneath my eyes, I am going in with the pencil he chose, which is the Kaleidos pencil in seven C's. This is just like a real shifty blue green. I'm gonna line my waterline. Now for under my eyes, I think I just want to go in with Space Queen and I'm really gonna be pushing this into my lash line. That is pretty damn cool. Okay, so the next order I wanna go in, I wanna go blush and then highlighter, and I'm gonna be using the highlighter also on my eyes and then I will finish my eyes. I know this is a weird way. So again, he picked a blush that I very rarely use and the blush he chose was the Melt Cosmetics Honey Thief Powder Blush. I just don't use my powder blushes as often, um, but I should, why not? This is a very light blush, so I'm just gonna That does add a nice rosiness to the look. What do we think? I'm not sure how I feel about this blush with this look. Could be a lot worse. All right, let's do highlighter. I'm actually pretty pumped that he picked this one. He chose the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter in Prophecy. So it's so hard to tell, but this is gold and green leaning. So first thing first, I'm going to do the high points of my face. This is an intense highlighter. This is not one of those like, you know, can't see it or whatever. No, no, you can see this highlighter. This does pull very gold pink on my skin. Hmm. Well, I have the intention and I'm going to still do it, but I want to highlight my brow bone with this and see if I can blend that color out a little bit. So I'm just taking a very little bit. That gives an interesting like pink gold shift. I'm gonna kind of connect here. To finish the eyes, he chose no glitter, no lashes, no rhinestones, and we are just going in with the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. This again is not probably the kind of mascara I would use for this look, because this mascara is really good for little wispy lashes and it separates really well, but I feel like this look needs a thick mascara. I don't want to do this because I think it's going to ruin the look. He picked a red lip. I really think it's going to ruin the look. I don't want to do this, but it's the whole point of my husband picks my makeup, right? For lip liner, the Melt Perfectionist Liner in Thrill. I don't want to do this. Also, this lip liner is pretty crappy, which bums me out because I love Melt's other lip liners. I don't love this one. 
well, hang tight. Do you see how much more pigmented it is? I literally just wiped off kind of the top layer and now, oh, well now it's going real smooth. And for the lipstick, he chose a very old lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Underage Red. Kat Von D is no longer the name. Underage Red stopped being the name a long time ago, but hmm, let's see. With this eye and this lip, I feel very toddlers and tiaras. I love this red lip. This is one of my favorite red lips. I love these eyes and the way they turned out. I do not like these together. I'm so sorry, I have to take off the lip, okay? I have to take it off. See, I just feel like this look was screaming for a nude glossy lip. Now I feel like I need more blush, but you know what? We're gonna stop here. Let me know what you think. Was he trolling me? Was he trolling me? I genuinely don't think he was. I think that he really did try to pick some unique products, pick some cool products that he thought would go together. And I'm so appreciative. Let me just say that. I've got a good guy. He's a good person. And I am so appreciative that he was willing to do this with me. And let me know what you guys think. I love these eyes. I love how smoky they turned out. And I think a lot of it had to do with that black base. I'm so glad I went back because there was a part of me for a minute that was like, uh, should I just leave this on and like cut out the part where he picked out the black base? No, I'm so glad I didn't because dang, like I really like these eyes. I do like it with this nude lip, I have to say. I like it with the nude lip, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. That always helps out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all glitter fallout. And as always and forever, you are, I just went like this, you are, Super freaking rock stars. You are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.